All right. Hello, everybody. My name is DJ Waggle Muffin. I'm going to be going over the selection and deselection tools and paint tool sci. And one of the things you'll notice when you pull up paint tool sci for the first time, and I've got an open document here, you go ahead and deselect this field. I'm going to fill in a. Uh, I'm going to fill in a little, little doodad here. Let's take some red and go over. No, no, no. Oh, oh, no. Let's do this. Okay. All right. Now I got some blob on there. Some red blob. Okay. One of the first thing you'll notice is your, your tool palette. You can put it on either side, either left or right. And you just open your windows here and it'll ask you, you know, if you want a, everything on the right, want everything on the left, you know, wherever you want it. Anyway, um, one of the first thing you'll notice about the selection tool is that it's greater than the lasso tool in every way, shape, or form. And this is paint, they, they don't label this and nobody talks about it, but this is sort of paint tool size, uh, version of quick masking. So when you first use the, let's just use the select tool for right now because the deselect tool is the exact same only obviously it's deselection. So the selection tool you're going to notice it does this. There's no pressure sensitivity, there's no density, there's no texture, blah blah blah. Well a lot of people think that this cannot be manipulated in Paint Tool Sci. I'm going to show you how it can be. What you're going to do is you go down to your advanced settings over here, right before uh, it's going to be right above the um, the brush size options. Okay, you're going to press pressure size or rather density. Okay, and you're going to come in here and voila. See, you see some of the um, the pressure and density options are already going into effect. Let's go ahead and lower down. You will see here, just like that. Okay. Now, the cool thing about this is, is like I was talking to you about, this is paint tool size version of quick masking. Except the problem is, if you work with it this way, um, you can't save your selections, unfortunately. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to lower the density, okay, and I'm going to add fuzzy static to it, and you can adjust it here, and I'm going to put it on canvas. Now, if you have a bunch of different uh, blot maps and uh, texture options plugged into Paint Tool Sci, you're just going to open up a lot more, um, a lot more ideas and textures. But you don't need anything more than the uh, the original settings and original uh, blot maps and stuff that already come with Sci. So let's go ahead and uh, make this bigger so you can see what I'm doing here. And you'll notice that when you come down like this over your original color you'll see, let me zoom in a little bit, you'll see that it's got this purple color. Well, that means that it's, the density is working, okay? And the more blue it becomes, the more of the selection field it's going to, the more of it's going to select. So let's go ahead and get a field here. Let's go ahead and make a, a good selection where it's all blue, okay? Let's just say... Let's just say, for the sake of this video, that my light source is coming from the top. Okay. Now, you see that um, it's adding some some fuzz. I just totally pointed at my screen as if you could see me. Uh, now, so let's take another, uh, another tool, let's say the brush tool, and this is where your field's selected. Okay, you see... It's exactly like the quick masking feature. If you go around and see all the marching ads, if you've ever worked with a quick mask in Photoshop or Manga Studio or any of the other programs that has a quick masking, you'll see it. Now let's pick a different color. Let's pick a complementary lighter. Let's come up, and I'm going to pick the airbrush instead, flat color. Um, up the density on this thing so you can see it. And you'll begin to see it starts to apply the textures a little bit. And just outside of the marching ants, you can add some texture just very, very lightly. Okay, and you can do the same thing with the density tool, or rather the deselect tool. And you see when I click those tools, or if you click it with the um, the wand tool, it is the same thing. Now, let's say I want to change this again. Let's go down to one of the other ones that's already plugged in. Let's say the fuzzy static. Let's use fuzzy static. And then I'm going to go sandpaper just because I feel like sandpaper. 
I got my, remember, pressure and density has been selected, okay? And let's come around here and just kind of draw some happy, happy fuzzy places, okay? Get your airbrush again, okay? And you'll see again with all the marching ants. All right, let's select that that time again. Go around and there you go. You can do all sorts of fun, neat things with this option. But um, it is a misnomer. A lot of people, when they first use Paint Tool Sci, um, the first thing they'll tell you is that the selection tool and the deselection tool can't be adjusted. Like the um, it can't. There's no pressure. There's no density. There's no um, size jitter. That's not true. You just got to go into your advanced settings and fiddle around, fiddle around with all these knobs until you come up with something that you like. Um, to invert the selection, you go to selection and invert. Okay. And everything is still selected. You can see all the the areas that are still selected. So let's go ahead and uh, fill that up, just because I feel like it. Open up all these fun places. This is also another way you can add things like clouds. You can add um, do this for things like uh, anything that glows. If you have a character that glows pretty or has glowing effects, you can do this for um, adjusting. If you have like specific light sources, you can manipulate this in any way you want. Let's go to selection just because it's fun. Let's add uh, one of my other plugs, pedals for no particular reason, just, you know, play around with it, find out what you can do with it. Um, if you want some more blot maps and such like that, I'm not exactly sure how to do those just yet, but as soon as I figure it out, I'll put a video feed on it. But if you go to DeviantArt and just type in side brushes, um, a lot of different options and stuff like that will pop up, uh, people who already figured it out. So um, this is how you work this thing. And I think it's a lot of fun because it really makes uh, Paint Tool Sci a very versatile program. Uh, despite the fact that it doesn't do basic shapes and it doesn't do um, things like... Uh, unfortunately, there's no text. You can't exactly do comic books and stuff like that. It is, But the pen options and the coloring options and all the different uh, doodads over here with the different ideas. Like, I've got a bunch of uh, new brush settings and everything, so... It actually turns out to be a very, very wonderful program. So, if you have Sony Books, I highly suggest you pick it up. And that's how you use the selection and deselection tools in Paint Tool Sci. Mix it up as a, a nice little easy quick mask. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks!